Hey guys, Doyle here with Doyle's Basement Records. Uh, hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, just got off work, pretty tired. Uh, it is Vinyl Thursday. But before that, I want you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know if I suck or if I'm doing all right. Um, other than that, I think let's, uh, let's get into it. All right. So, first one we're going to start with. New release of The Offspring, Conspiracy of One. Uh, I The next few albums I've got, man. Um, I haven't listened to a lot of these probably since like middle school. So I definitely have not listened to this album in a very long time. But there is one song I do still listen to quite a bit on here. Um, other than that, I really, like I said, I don't listen to it. That song is called, uh, I Want You Bad. <coughs> I've always enjoyed that song. <coughs> when I first discovered that song, um, on a <coughs> movie, uh, American Pie 2, which is my f first R-rated movie I ever, uh, bought on DVD, and, 2001. Let's, oh, come on. What does it say? 20th anniversary. Let's see if it's colored. Nope. Unfortunately not. Mm. Dang it. But not bad. Well, you know, this it was $21.77. I got it for $14.60 with my discount. I know the next one. Now this one, Green Day, Dookie. <coughs> I don't own anything by Green Day. I have, I mean, I think I have a few of their CDs. I bought a long time ago. I don't listen. I don't think I'm on a record. And I honestly probably wouldn't have got it, but it was a great deal. It's twenty two seventy seven. I got it for eighteen seventy seven. I'd probably own this. And maybe Nimrod, and I guess maybe American Beauty, but that's it for me on Green Day. I don't hate them or anything. Uh, not a real big fan. I just thought I, like, I needed it for the collection. You know, it was one of those albums like that. It's like, you know, I'll listen to it maybe once or twice, but then it's going to be resting, you know, <laughs> collecting dust. All right, let's see. I doubt this is colored. What do we got here? Oh my god, look how young they all look. Oh, I only know that one was it named Billy Armstrong, the lead singer and guitar player. But this just shows how young those guys are. Oh man. Talking about uh, in the cloth, yep. Yeah. That's funny. All right, so that's Green Day Dookie. Next one. Mr. Peter Tosh, legalize it. <coughs> it's an import. It was for 36 bucks. Got it for 19.22. All right. How do you open these? Oh, yeah, there's the side. I hate you, gonna rip it. I, I don't keep those folds anyway. Man, I'm really struggling with that. Oh man, it's not colored either. I thought it might have been just an import. But Peter Tosh will legalize it. Good album. This is another album I haven't listened to. That's his middle school, but probably since. High school from start to finish, so it's been it's been a it's been a while. Uh, right, on to the next one, another one that probably uh, man, I don't know what year this album came out. <laughs> Stain, break the cycle. I know I was young. Another album I haven't listened to that I kind of just said screw it, I'm gonna get it. 
I know there's a few songs I, I enjoyed by uh, Stained. This one was 36 bucks. Got it for 19.22. This one actually says it's colored vinyl, so that's exciting. <coughs> One mine. Here. Alright. <coughs> ah, just the blue. And I heard, uh, I just saw today, in fact, that, what was his name? Aaron Lewis is, uh, rejoining with Stain. They're bringing him back. I've heard he's kind of a dick, too. Um, I've seen some clips on him on uh, YouTube doing those, uh, what is it, like little just acoustic shows. And he's kind of getting irritated at the crowd because they're talking too loud. And he's like, I swear to God, I'm about to effing leave if you guys just keep up talking, you know. And he finally does. I think he even drops his guitar. And it's like a Gibson J200, which is a very, very nice acoustic pretty darn expensive acoustic guitar to be just doing that too and i saw even on my uh youtube uh youtube uh you know like for recommends i saw he's been doing these like little uh little shows in his living room and man i thought he uh made damn good money because man it he looks like he just lives in a tiny apartment with a, a super cheap couch and then a coffee table I think you see some fishing poles, so he's obviously like a fisherman, but uh, then he smokes weed during it and then smokes some cigarettes. Everything just looks real cheap. It's like, man, I don't. It's, it was kind of weird for me to see it like that. I just figured he'd have a huh, pretty big house, but well, who knows? All right, next one Black Pumas. So I'm not too. Familiar with this band, I know it won a bunch of. Or I think it actually says. Is it? You know, they, when it was uh, nominated, maybe. Okay. At the Grammys. And we, I've heard this at the art shop played a few times. There were some songs on there I really dig. I was like, finally, I'm going to get it. And this is the one I actually paid. I could have paid it for a cheaper version. Uh, not a 2LP. And it was just like. The color was cream, but I spent a few extra bucks to get the double LP and um, the a different type of color vinyl. So you know what I what I said, guys. Always pay a few extra bucks for uh, color vinyl. So that's what I did with this one, which I wish all records would have that option. I believe they're both different. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Okay. And this side is pretty much all black. Alright, so. Yeah, this side's pretty cool. The black and red. Alright, there's one more in there. Let's see, uh. Okay, so that's like a, <coughs> what is that? Like a Dijon mustard, Dijon colored mustard, I would say. All right, all right. And for the last one, guys, Chris Cornell, uh, a new album that just came out not too long ago. No one sings like you anymore. But, um. I haven't listened to this. I've only listened to a few of his, a uh, few of these songs. It was just on YouTube, nothing on the record player. Yeah, I, I liked what I heard. Um, I'm a pretty uh, decent sized uh, Chris Cornell fan. I think he's got a phenomenal voice. Love Soundgarden. Um, Love the. I was a big Audio Slave fan too. That came out pretty much right when I was in middle school as well. Um, so, I don't know if it was their first time or the second one, it was, with, I think it's like, Use Yourself or Be Yourself, oh my god, I love that song, nope, not covered, 
your typical black uh, vinyl, which is on tape. But, um, all right, guys, I think that might be it for today. Um, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know if I'm, if I suck or I'm doing all right, you know, just leave me a comment and, um, man, enjoy the rest of your guys' uh, week or your evening or all the above. I'm about to put these up and go relax on the couch and watch some TV. And you guys have a good rest of your night.